I'm Ed Prophet from Florida Atlantic University and uh, visiting Randall Hughes and her lab and her, and her uh, research sites. And uh, This is a, a beautiful marsh with some very nice mangroves. We of course get much larger mangroves down where we are, but it's the same species and this is the most cold tolerant, so it's the one that's marching north fastest. So as climate changes over the next hundred years, quite possibly this marsh will become a mangrove thicket populated by these guys with the salt marsh plants you see all around as a more ephemeral because they won't be able to withstand the shading that this will produce. Right now this is kind of a low growth form because it doesn't handle the winters all that well. It's always good to begin to look and see if we can find local adaptation. For example, the plants that are up here, would they grow as well down where I live and vice versa. These guys adapted to these conditions because you know, they're ancestors came up a few generations ago and then a bunch of them were killed and a few survived and so on and so on until these now are truly evolutionarily adapted to these colder conditions. That's kind of our hypothesis about how, how these things are moving north and colonizing. But it's a very nice plant, but as in most of the mangroves it produces these propagules which are not really seeds, they're germinated seedlings that are being nourished by the parent plant and when they're released, they'll float around for some matter of weeks, although they probably won't disperse too far unless there's storm conditions. And then they will begin to germinate and produce a new Abyssinia, a new black mangrove, probably in the spring. This species of mangrove is insect pollinated. In fact, when you buy mangrove honey in a grocery store, it's coming from this species of plant. So beekeepers, when you have big plants further south, put hives out near the trees just for that purpose. One of the most interesting things about these mangroves is that they produce aerial roots. And unlike the red mangrove that you may have seen on TV or something with the arching roots that come down from the trunk, these come up from the ground. They're called pneumatophores. They spread way out from where the canopy is. So the, the roots for this one look like they're going maybe 10 meters over this direction outside the, the realm of the canopy. So they're, they're foraging under the ground, spreading out, and popping up these pneumatophores so they can get oxygen pumped down to the below ground parts of the root. <laughs> 